We're here this week with Matt Bronson, a member of the men's volleyball team here at Quincy University. We just have a couple questions for you today. Matt, how would you describe yourself in three words? Ooh, three words. It's kind of tough, but um, you know, I'm I guess the best. Um, That's two. Oh yeah, one more word then. <laughs> uh, well, a lot of my teammates call me godly, but oh, um, okay. I really like to say I'm not that bad. You know, it's it's okay. I'm one of those <laughs> two, I guess. So if you could throw in one more word, what would it be? Uh, egomaniac, if you couldn't tell, but it's all right. <laughs> no, I wouldn't guess that. No. Um, what's something you do in your spare time that you would never tell anyone about? That I would never tell anyone about? Um, well... A lot of the time when we go on these trips, I like to eat healthy, so uh, a lot of people don't know that I like to eat salad and all this stuff, But because uh, a lot of my teammates think all I do is eat candy and just eat pizza at home, so I really like salad, but I don't really tell people about that. That's nothing to be embarrassed about. It's a little bit. <laughs> that you like leaves. Now, do you put dressing on your salad, or do you eat it without dressing? Because I know plain. some people eat it without. I eat it without. plain. Plain. As weird as that is, I like it plain. All right, that's interesting. If you were written about in the newspaper on the front page, what would the headline say about anything? If I was in the newspaper? Yeah, on the front page. Oh man, I would really hope it would say, Skip loves Matt Bronson. And if you guys don't know, Skip Bayless on ESPN First Take, he's like my idol, so oh. I'd really like that. Or something like Matt Bronson Tebow's, you know, someone else, but we'll see. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, what's the number one most played song on your iPod? This is something I really wouldn't talk about, but uh, if you guys know Rebecca Black, I really am a big fan of Friday, okay. and I know a lot of people don't like that song, but you know it's kind of a big deal. But up there is also uh, Cinema. I'm a big fan of dubstep, so oh, okay. have to give a shout out to dubstep. So no, like Katy Perry or Lady Gaga or anything. No, not a fan of Lady Gaga. You know, she's just a little too uh, mainstream for me, I guess. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, so intellectual. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, what chore do you absolutely hate doing? Do you have chores? Uh, yeah. Sometimes I do uh, the dishes at home, oh. and you know that's okay. But the one chore I hate is laundry, mm. and I kind of have a huge stack of clothes just waiting in my room for me, and uh, I'll get around to it someday, but laundry for sure would be my numero uno hated <laughs> chore. Now, have you ever gotten so deep into laundry that you just went out and bought, like, new boxers or anything like that? It hasn't been that bad. I do have a lot of clothes, but it definitely hasn't been that bad. Um, maybe a pair of socks, but no. I'm okay. Okay, so you do it before it gets overwhelming. Mm -hmm. awesome. Absolutely. <laughs> if you could choose to stay a certain age forever, what would it be and why? Ooh, if I could stay a certain age forever. Well, right now I'm 21, and that would be prime time because I'm loving life right now. I'm loving mm -hmm. college. Um, me and my teammates are having a good time. Got to give a shout out to all the seniors out there. Oh boy. Yeah, and uh, you know, right now we're having a good season, so I'm loving it. And right now it would be 21. All right, awesome. A lot of people say 21, I can't imagine why. Yeah, I wouldn't know either. Mm. If you could learn to do anything, no limits, nothing, no limits of money or anything, what would it be? If I could learn to do anything? Mm -hmm. Can I learn to fly, would that count? That counts, yeah. Man. Now, learn to fly without an airplane, or learn to fly Oh, I mean, with actually fly, like, oh, actually you know, fly. Superman kind of thing. Okay, okay. But uh, it's probably impossible, at least for now. Um, if I could learn to do anything, I'd really want to uh, learn the Carlos Boozer jump shot. <laughs> He's probably my favorite NBA player, behind uh, Brian Scalabrini, who's number one. But uh, <laughs> if I could learn to take that jump shot where he does... He just has a really odd release with the basketball. That would be the number one thing for sure. All right. That's another interesting answer. Yeah, I like where this is going. Um, if you knew the world was going to end in 2012, which it is now, oh. all right, what would you do differently? Or would you do anything differently? If the world was going to end. You know, they're predicting December, what is it, 20, 23rd, 22nd? I'm not or sure, but... 
Would I do anything differently? Man, no, I'm, you know, I'm enjoying my life. Maybe I'd play a little more golf or something. Okay. I'd be hanging out with my friends a lot more for sure. But uh, um, I don't know. I'd be calling a lot of people uh, Stan Darsh because, you know, my friends really like that name for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> but um, no, I, I wouldn't change a thing. Awesome. So you're loving life. Oh, absolutely. At 21. At 21. <laughs> what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be rich. Oh, I know that's everyone my wants favorite to be answer. Rich, yeah. <laughs> but uh, if I could be anything, I don't know. I might be, uh, I'd, as a job, a financial analyst. I know it's really weird and no one really knows anything about it. Mm. But uh, I'll, I'll keep my goals high. I, I've been watching these debates and the State of the Union was just on. I, you know, I'd, I'd be president. I think I'm okay. I think cool. I could talk to the, uh, the world, the nation, you know. I think you have some connections there. It's possible. Uh, we'll see what happens, but... Well, I'll be sure to vote for you then. I appreciate happens. that. Okay, got my vote. What songs would you include on the soundtrack of your life? Now, I know you mentioned a few before, but... Like, oh. for this moment, what hmm. song would you play? For this moment, man... Um, public Service Announcement by <laughs> Jay-Z. <laughs> you know, since freshman year, it's always been probably my soundtrack where anywhere I go, I could always listen to that. And I feel like, you know, I'm getting ready because mm. life's about to hit me. Okay. But uh, other than that, um, Game Over by Little Flip would little. be another one. It's not Lil, it's Little? No, I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Little, but <laughs> I wouldn't know. But Game Over, definitely. It's a good song. All righty. What's your favorite QU memory? Ooh, there's a lot of memories, but... <laughs> uh, um, I'll def I could say uh, there's a few that I probably shouldn't mention, but uh, a good one would be I'd be waking up for 8 a.m. class in Friars, and my roommate or the guy next door, Rob, would uh, we'd both be asleep in the same class, and all we would do is just bang on the other person's wall, and be like, "Yo, you want to go to class?" Nah, hmm? and we just pass out. <laughs> and actually, that reminds me of my actual top story. And uh, the RAs at Friars would kind of get me in trouble for this, but it's years by. So mm. um, you're you're so much more mature than that now. Right? Yeah, and the thing was, uh, the fire alarms would be going off in Friars, and everyone would have to go downstairs, and mm. it'd be like two in the morning. And uh, one year, I'm like, man, I, or one time, I didn't want to go down, so I just hid under my covers while the fire alarms were going off, and. Uh, the RA came in, looked, and uh, I hid pretty well, so mm -hmm. I didn't get caught, and I went back to sleep. <laughs> now what if there really was a fire? I might be in a little trouble, yeah. but, you know, two years later, I think it's okay. I think still I can tell here, that still one Still here, still kicking. Out. Yeah, I'm all right. <laughs> so now you're going to be getting, like, fines and, and slips from, I, from the RA. This is all in good fun. I'm, right, off the record. Yeah, absolutely. Except it's on the record. That's all right. I didn't say it was a true story. Just telling stories. Exactly. Yeah. It's a memory. <laughs> And what's your favorite QU sport to watch? Ooh. Well, definitely a basketball fan. I really, oh, man. I When I used to play back in the day, I was uh, quite an avid basketball player. Oh. But um, I like watching the basketball teams, both of them. Um, actually, and we were also out at the soccer games, but a lot of my team doesn't know soccer. Mm -hmm. and I used to play soccer also mm -hmm. up to my uh, freshman year of high school. I love explaining it to everyone because no one understood what was going on. <laughs> but, um, you know, I, I, I think we all, the volleyball team tries to watch everyone, but I really do and watch like watching everyone play. So mm -hmm. I have noticed that you guys are pretty much at every we try sporting to be. We try to and be that's around really as awesome. much as possible. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You guys are like the social butterflies of the athletic department. Butterflies? Sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We're a little social. Social lions. That's better. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, now fill in the blank here. I've always wanted. Is that the blank? That's okay. the blank, yeah. Okay, I've always <laughs> wanted hmm, a chocolate milkshake. But you've never had one? No, I've had one. Oh. But I always could go for a chocolate milkshake. It's uh, probably like the best thing ever. Now, the, like uh, the triple thick chocolate milkshake or like the kind of watery ones? Uh, watery, no. Well, not watery, but water. the ones where you can still get through the straw. I don't know. I'm trying to think what my best milkshake would be. Um, 
from Cold Stone Creamery, Ooh. if you've heard of those, yeah. Mm. Those are probably my favorite, but um, any kind of milkshake. I really love chocolate milkshakes. All right. But you like Big salad? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> All right, here's another one. I wish I could... That's blank. I wish I could... That's a tough one. Um, I wish I could sing. Oh. You know, we do a lot of karaoke, <laughs> and uh, I mean, I could sing, not well. I wish I could sing well, I guess oh, it would okay. be more proper, but, uh, and I also wish I could whistle. I can't do that. You can't whistle? No. Oh. I'm not going to attempt to either. It's, pre it's pretty bad. Are you sure you don't want to? No. For your viewers? I heard a little uh, bit. A not, little bit. Don't bother. It's okay. bad. It's bad. <laughs> All right. One more. The best part of waking up. The best part of waking up is I get to wake up. Is that you get to wake up? Yeah. Well, That's all go. I got. Um, <laughs> well, I have a sister and a brother. Mm -hmm. No, I don't. I have two brothers. And uh, <laughs> the best part of waking up is I could always talk to them if I want. And uh, usually I always wake up to a text from mom saying, Aww. I hope you have a good day. That's sweet. Not my dad. My dad doesn't know how to text, but... Yeah, no, I have to shout out to my family. Aww. No, I don't know. I just enjoy living life, I suppose. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you.